Hello, right. Hello. Oh, I'm peeking. A lot of people seem to think you can't um, control things via MIDI controllers in Drambo. You can. What you, what you can't do, it doesn't do MIDI learn at the moment, apparently. But you can you can assign MIDI CCs and route them to stuff in Drambo. So I'll show you show you how. And you, you know you can do your volumes and stuff with it. Right, I'll show you what I got. What I've got here, this is just controller number one. And if I press play, um, put it in sequence mode. It's going to be sending that sine wave, right? Okie dokie. So we'll get a Drambo. Might as well turn it down a little bit because it's going to be annoying. Create an oscillate. Well, won't that we'll create the device that receives the MIDI CC? And it's a MIDI CC modulator. Check its MIDI is assigned to the channel. There it is. Right now. If I set it CC number to number one, that's transmitting. Right, so if I bang in an oscillator. Doo -doo -doo, that's a generator in it. Oscillator, oscillator. There we go. If I assign the oscillator to the output of the modulator, and turn up this little. See, I didn't assign the MIDI route in into Drumbo. There you go. Schoolboy error. I'll leave it in because some of you are bound to forget too. Yeah, that'll work for your volumes too. We'll do get rid of that. Um, I'll show you how to use it on a the volume controls. Now the signal routing is left to right and top to bottom. So track one will control the volume of. Channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5, like see this on channel 2. We select that output there. Now, that volume is being controlled by there. But, uh, one thing you'll have to do is sort your MIDI channels um, per track. See, currently it's any. So what you need is a uh, set that to that channel one. Yeah, and the, the way in practice you'd use it to control a volume is you would turn that volume right down. See this channel 2, you'd turn it right down and you'd turn that control knob all the way up and that way the MIDI CC 
will control the volume. But um, you got to remember, on your, if you set it up using track one as a control track, you could you'd then repeat this for a number of CC, so you control every volume track. But yeah, you want to set that channel one's MIDI channel to a particular channel. Because you see, when you when, say, say I look at channel two's MIDI channel, it's receiving from any track. So, so what you can end up with, what you'd end up with if you didn't set channel one's MIDI track, is when you're selecting different tracks, the MIDI, it could be MIDI if it's on any, will just get rooted to your currently, currently selected track, which you don't want. To set your video properly, there you go. 